It's March 20th, first day of spring. Happy spring. Um, yeah, uh, we really miss going to the Y, teaching our classes. Uh, we hope you guys come and visit us on, uh, where is this, on YouTube? Yeah? No, we're just going to keep going. One take. This is real. <laughs> this is real life, people. All right, we're going to do some yoga, but tomorrow we're going to have a special treat. We're going to have some, uh, we're going to have a special edition of Sculpt. Uh, we hope you guys join us for that. But uh, we're just going to do uh, one day of yoga, and then we'll do some Sculpt. And then the following day, maybe uh, Philippe would like to pick the next class that we will uh, film and post. Um, please leave comments right below. Subscribe to our channel. And uh, let's get started. All right, let's come into child's pose. And sink those heels down, your bum down to your heels, arms stretched up in front of you, biceps by your ears. Feel that stretch. You should have a free flow of air. We are simply breathing. Alright, on your next inhale, we're coming up into a tabletop. Into tabletop, you're going to inhale your belly down, head and tailbone up. Feel that lungs fill. And exhale, begin to arch your back upward, head and tailbone go down. Begin to flow with your breath. Feel your body become alivened. Notice your body moving like a wave on the ocean. Few more rounds. Return to neutral spine, keep breathing. On your next exhale, you're going to curve and look over your shoulder towards the right, towards your bum. Keep breathing, don't stop breathing. We're doing a side stretch. Inhale back to center, exhale over to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the right. Last time. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the left. And back to center. Let's go ahead and extend our right leg back. And let's stretch out those calves. We're on our toe mounds. And toes, we're slightly moving forward and back, stretching out those calves. Should be staring down at your mat. And let's bring that right knee in. Extend your left. Let's stretch out those left, left calves. If you look at Fifi, you see the modifications. So as you look at today's practice, I will be the median level and Philippe will have it <laughs> amped up to six. <laughs> That's it, to six. To six. Uh, what would ten be? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
there's ten. <laughs> bring it back down to six. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's bring that left knee back in. Let's curl those toes. Come into downward dog. Imagine yourself in a reverse L. From your hands to your hips. From your hips to your heels. We're just moving those heels down towards the mat. Nice and slow. Come to a standstill, look forward between your hands, you can hop to the front or walk those feet to your hands. Fold your arms into themselves, we are in a forward fold. You can simply just hang here, let the weight of those folded arms bring you closer to the earth. Let's shake your head. Yes. Shake your head. No. Come to a standstill. Release those arms. Walk those hands over to your right side. Feel that stretch. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the left side. <laughs> Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the right. Center. Let's do the left. Back to center. Forward fold. Next inhale. Bring your hands to your shins. Roll those shoulders back. Lengthen your spine. You're looking down at the top edge of your mat. Forward fold on an exhale, reverse swan dive up. We are in mountain pose. Feel that the force of your body, the strength of your body. Notice the strength between your fingertips and the soles of your feet. Notice the way that you inhale. Notice the exhales. Remember in life, the only thing that we have control over is our breath. Our breath will get us through whatever we need to. Let's bring our palms together, hands down to heart center. Let's stay here for five rounds of breath. Nice, long, deep breaths. Notice the way that you are breathing. Is anything hindering your breath? Do you notice a shortness of breath? Is it long, deep breaths? Simply stay here and breathe. Last round. Exhale, release those hands down by your side, palms out as you're receiving your gift from the creators of all life. Reverse, come back up into mountain pose. Forward fold, plant your hands, step back. We're stepping back into high plank. From high plank, I want everyone to find their perfect plank. You're nice and broad across your shoulders. Elbows wrapped in. You're looking down at your mat. Your abs are engaged. You should feel your feet engaged. Calves. And then on a very slow, controlled exhale, using your arms. Come down to the mat. Release those toes. On your next inhale, come up, baby cobra. Exhale down. Curl those toes. 
push back downward dog. Right leg up. Looking forwards, looking through your hands, you're going to step that right leg through. You can drop that left knee down or leave it off the mat. Next inhale, you're coming up. Crescent pose. I want you to look down, make sure those legs are engaged. In front of your knee, you should be seeing your big toes. Well, just one big toe. But some of us have fat toes. All right. Exhale those hands down. Plant your hands. Step back. We're back in high plank. With high plank, lower down on an exhale. Release those feet. Baby cobra. Exhale down. Curl your toes. Push back, downward dog. Left leg up, looking forward, step through. You can drop that right knee down or come on up. We're back in the crescent. Find your breath. Find your strength. One more breath. On your next exhale, bring those hands down to the mat, step back, we're back in high plank, lower down with control, undo those feet, baby cobra, curl those toes, downward dog, back to right leg, right leg up, step through, we're coming back up, crescent pose. We're going to bring our hands together, down the heart center. Now I'm going to step you through. I'm going to do something that we normally do in one sequence. I'm going to break it down into three sequences, okay? Inhale, back up. Exhale, down, step back, high plank, lower down. Baby cobra. Exhale, down, curl those toes, push back. Downward dog. Left leg up. Looking forward. Step through. Inhale up. Bring your palms together. Heart center. Find your strength in your breath. Notice how much control you have over your body when you have control of your breath. Once you have control of your breath, it radiates through your body and then out into the external world. Inhale up. Exhale those hands down. Step back, high plank. Lower down with control. Uncurl those toes, baby cobra. Exhale down, curl those toes, downward dog. Back the right leg, right leg up. Step through. Come up, back to crescent. All right, we're gonna change it up. Bring those hands down to heart center. On our next exhale, you're bringing your left elbow on the outside of your right thigh. Find your breath. You can open up like Philebus, or you can stay like I am. Bring those hands back together and back to crescent. Exhale those hands down, step back, high plank, lower down. Uncurl those toes, baby cobra. Exhale down, curl those toes, push back. Left leg up, looking forward, step through. Come on up, crescent pose. Bring those hands together, heart center. Exhale that right knee on the outside of your left thigh. Nice side twist. All right, we're gonna 
to come out of this. Come back up. Prayer. Arms up. Exhale down. Step back. High plank. Lower down with control. Uncurl those toes. Baby cobra. Exhale down. Push back. Downward dog. Right leg up. Look forward. Step through. Back foot down 45 degrees. Cartwheel those hands open. Warrior two. So in warrior two, find your chest nice and broad. Imagine yourself at your widest points, fingertips to fingertips. Your knee above your ankles, 45 degrees in your back leg. You should have a lot of strength in this back leg. Abdominals firm. Nice form fluid. And let's sink back into my warrior two. On our next exhale, cartwheel those hands down, step back, high plank, lower down with control. Uncurl those toes, baby cobra. Exhale down, curl those toes, push back, downward dog. Left leg up, look forward, step through, back foot down, cartwheel those hands open. Again, make sure you see that big toe. If not, inch that foot forward, nice and broad across your chest, fingertip to fingertip. Use that front middle finger as your aimer. Look forward, find your target, settle in. Sink a little bit deeper. Yeah. Last breath. Cartwheel those hands down. Step back, high plank, lower down with control. Uncurl those toes, baby cobra. Exhale down. We're back in downward dog. All right, we're gonna switch it up. We're going into warrior three. Inhale your right leg up. Look forward, step through. Come up into crescent pose. All right. On our next exhale, we're going to launch off our back heel and we're going to come up like we're standing stick. Come on up, warrior three. If you fall out, please come back up. That extended leg, try to turn that big toe down towards your mat. Don't hold your breath. Breathe. We got this. All right. Exhale those hands down. Bring that left leg down. Step back. High plank. Lower down with control. Release those toes. Baby cobra. Curl those toes. Push back. Downward dog. Left leg up. Look forward. Step through. Crescent, from Crescent, we're going to launch off, three, two, one. Come out, come back up. <laughs> there you go. There me go. <laughs> Find it, breathe. Exhale those hands down, bring that right foot back, step back, high plank, lower down with control, baby cobra. Exhale down, push back, downward dog. Let's go ahead and drop down to our knees. And let's take a breath. All right, so that was the energizing part of our practice today. Let's do a little bit of uh, stretching fluid. That sounds good. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and find our way down to our bumps. 
extend your legs out. Find those two sit bones. Those are the two bony protuberances in your butt. Find it. Settle down. Make sure those toes are pointed up. Arms down by your side. Inhale up. And on your next exhale, begin to go forward with leading with your chest. And you'll get to a point where your back wants to arch. And then let those hands fall where they go. Now you'll see the difference between me and Fee. Uh, this is just like anyone. Everyone is different from themselves. We're going to look different in this, so don't judge yourself based on how someone else is in this pose. Breathe. All right, release those hands wherever they're at. Engage those arms. Inhale up. Bring those hands back down. Now we're going to bring our right leg in, our heel into the inside of our leg. You might want to make some room if you're by a partner. We're going to inhale those arms back up. Forward fold, again leading with your chest, coming down, settling in, get that forehead down to your knee, every time that you exhale, you should be going slightly deeper into this posture. All right, let's release those hands. Inhale, engage those arms, come up nice and tall. Exhale those hands down. Switch out your legs. Bring that left heel in. Make sure that front straight leg is not locked at the knee. There is a, there's some flexibility here. Just make sure those heels are engaged, toes pointed up. You're going to inhale those arms up and exhale forward again, leading with your chest, sinking in, breathe. those hands, engage those arms on the inhale, come up, nice and tall, exhale those hands down, all right, let's straighten up both legs, this time we're going to do a side twist, so we're going to bring our right leg over our left, bring it in close, should be on the outside of your left thigh, you're going to inhale your left hand up, Exhale it down. I'm so sorry, partner. Inhale your left arm up like you're raising your fist to the sky and bring it down to the right side of your leg and exhale into a side twist. Again, make sure that you're able to breathe. Every time you exhale, sink a tiny bit deeper into the stretch. And then come out. You can simply just unwind, go into a reverse twist, do some reverse push-ups like Felipe. <laughs> I don't have the room to do it. <laughs> Let's come forward. <laughs> All right, let's bring that left leg over on the other side. Inhale, left arm up. Bring it down. Fist in the sky. 
bring it down on the opposite side, go into this twist. more rounds of breath. And go ahead and release. Go into your reverse little push-ups. Watch out for your partner. We're not very good at social distancing here, <laughs> are we? Well, at least we're in the same household, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think I will stop here for the day. I just want to give everyone some relaxation, some energizing work. Uh, like I said, tomorrow we will um, have a special class. I hope you will join us. Uh, this is uh, the class we'll have tomorrow. We will show you alternatives to doing uh, at-home exercising, which is apparently the newest craze right now going on, probably for the next eight weeks. Um, so let's go ahead and find our way to our sit bones. Make yourself nice and tall. Let's bring our hands together in our heart center. Inhale up to our third eye. Let's bow in gratitude. Namaste. Namaste. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. Thanks, babe. Thanks, babe. <laughs>